Hello everyone and welcome to the social networks of uh, Campus France in Paris. In the following minutes we are going to explain you why you should stay here and we'll show you the opportunities that will be offered to you if you come to study in France. Just a few numbers uh, before we start with the interviews. In France there are 3,500 higher education establishments which allow you to study in many different fields. Today, uh, we are going to talk about the Bachelor in Management at the SCP Europe. It's a unique program that allows you to study during three years in three different countries. To talk about this Bachelor, I have the pleasure to be with Vanessa Stroskan, Academic Director for the Bachelor Paris Campus. Uh, hi Vanessa, thank you very much for thank being you. with Thanks us to today. And also, uh, we have with us uh, Sofia Sir, uh, Rosenhofer. That's correct? Yes. A second year student of this Bachelor of Management. Mm. Hi, Sofia. Hi, thank you very much. You are an international student. As uh, we said, you are from Germany. Yep. And exactly. well, uh, when did you arrive in France? Um, last September, I arrived in France. So it's my second year right now. And yeah, I arrived last September. OK, so in the following minutes, uh, uh, we'll discover through your personal experience how is studying this Bachelor in Management at ESCP Europe. Actually, uh, the objective of this life is presenting you in, in detail uh, this Bachelor. Uh, what do we study here? Uh, how to apply? How is to study at ESCP Europe? And something really important in our days. Uh, what are the different job opportunities once you are done with the Bachelor? Uh, besides, uh, this is very important, uh, don't hesitate in, in asking us during this uh, Facebook Live uh, so we can answer all your questions. And don't forget to go to ESCPEurope.com to get as many information as you like. Well, let's begin with the interview. Uh, first question for you, uh, Vanessa. Could you please explain us what exactly ESCP Europe? So ESCP Europe is a business school. It's the, actually, it's the oldest business school uh, in Europe and maybe in the world. Uh, it started in uh, 1819, uh, was founded by several uh, persons, among which an economist called uh, Jean-Baptiste Say. Uh, so it was a French school for many years, uh, then became international, uh, maybe now for three decades, a bit more than that. Um, so it's, um, it's a very important school in France and it's becoming a very important school in the world. We have very good grading in, uh, in several of our programs. For example, we, have a, we are second worldwide for a master in a specialized master in finance. Mm -hmm. We have the fifth position for the master in management. Uh, and also the executive MBA is very good with uh, uh, the sixth position in Europe. Uh, we also are triple accredited, so that means we have accreditation for three uh, different um, uh, type of companies, uh, AACSB, which is an American company, Equis, which is European, and also IMBA, who is specifically uh, uh, focusing on MBAs. Okay, well. So it's, it's very, uh, and that's quite uh, specific, there's only 1% of business school in the world that gets those three uh, accreditations. Uh -huh. so. Well, that's quite impressive, but it will be even more after watching uh, this trailer about the Bachelor in Management itself. The main reason why I chose ESCP Europe is because I get to study in a different city every year. I get to choose from London, Madrid, Paris, Turin, or Berlin. Experiencing three different cities in three years means you're stepping outside of your comfort zone, discovering new places, meeting new people, and learning to adapt to your surroundings. I chose Easy Europe because it has a strong reputation, being the first business school in the world, triple accredited, and top ranked. The professors at ESCP Europe are experts in their fields, perfectly balancing theory and practice, preparing me for the real world of business. The best thing about the program are my classmates. They're from a range of backgrounds and everyone is ambitious and hardworking with the drive to succeed. I'm getting the knowledge and skills I need to be successful. I like to know that when I graduate, I'll stand out from the crowd. I can honestly say this is an incredible, life-changing experience. So once again, three countries, three different languages, and three years of studies. What does all this mean? 
Um, well, there are many ways to answer your question. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it means many things, but three, at three, least, three. yeah, three, three, three. At least what it means is that, uh, well, to be more precise, our students, they, they will choose the track from the beginning. They can start the first year either in Paris or London. Then the second year is either in Paris, Torino or uh, Madrid. And then the last year will be either in Berlin or Paris. But each student cannot be in the same campus twice. Okay. What is the idea? The idea is uh, twofold, I think. The first one is that uh, students are in a European environment. They tend to already like there are students from all over the world, so it's very multicultural. But then by being in different campuses across Europe, they get to know uh, different way of teaching somehow and also different culture and different cities. So, you know, that 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 is very enriching to them. Mm -hmm. um, and the second part is that for them it's enriching, but for the for the employers or the master's program that uh, they may continue their study with, uh, it's a very good sign of students that, you know, are young but are able to adapt, mm -hmm. uh, are very mature, because being able to change campus every year for three years uh, says something, of yeah. course. Yeah. So I think, um, yeah. I think that's what it says. So, <laughs> regarding the bachelor in management, what's the program? Uh, in terms of the courses, yep. you mean? Um, we, we are a very balanced program in the sense that we have uh, its management. So we have courses in management. Uh, that, uh, that means uh, they learn about finance, they learn about marketing, they learn about accounting. So all the, the topics of finance. But not only, we also have uh, humanities. Uh, by humanities, we mean some courses that they, they would not necessarily get in usual business school, like uh, uh, introduction to psychology and, psycho uh, and uh, sociology, or they get like uh, international relations, mm -hmm. you know, a bunch of courses like this. We also made uh, the decision to have a, a program which is uh, quite quantitative. Uh, the idea being that they, they, the, our students be able, after the bachelor, to actually reach um, master degrees in, for example, finance or more or big data, meaning like a master's that requires the knowledge of math and statistics. Mm -hmm. So that's the third part. So our program is really a balanced program between quantitative um, uh, courses, mathematics, statistics, you get some coding uh, so and so on, computer skills, management courses and humanity courses and languages because also you know they learn a lot about languages the idea being that you know they'll be in everything is in English mm -hmm. I should say, say to start with all the program is in English but then they also have longer language courses that are the language of the campuses in which they will have the second and third year. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, Sophia, how are the, these courses organized? Are there groups? Uh, I guess there are lots of projects, but uh, how does it work from inside? Mm -hmm. So, we are basically um, in small groups. So, for lectures, we might also be a little bit bigger groups, which might be around 100 people, for example, as we had it in London. But then we go into seminars, or right now, as in Paris, we are only 40 people. Um, and there we are really in smaller groups, which is really good because we kind of get to know each other a little bit more and it's easier to learn a little bit or to contribute to the lessons. And I think this is kind of the basic uh, organization of the courses. And as you said, like main o the main courses are in English, but right now in the second year we also have some courses in, in French or in um, Spanish. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And do you need to have, for instance, a strong background in maths? Um, no, I would not say so. I mean, it's it's helpful to have some kind of background knowledge in math, but since the professors really start from the beginning, like what we have to learn and everything, it's really all right. So you don't have to be a math geek or something to mm -hmm. really um, get well in the courses or the exams. Mm -hmm. Sophia, we, we also know that humanities are very important yes. in this bachelor. Uh, what's your point of view as a student? Um, yeah, as you already said, like we not only have like these um, management courses, which are of course really important because that's basically why we are here and what we are studying. But these humanity courses, I think they are at least as important as the management mm -hmm. courses because mm -hmm. for being a, a kind of manager or a leader, you also have to sell yourself or you have to do proper, um, proper presentations or you need to engage with other people. So that's really, really important, I would say. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, well, just if you are joining us, uh, I remind you that we are live uh, with a Bachelor in Management of ESCP Europe. Uh, so feel free to ask uh, any doubts or questions you may have. And our guests, I guess they, they will be happy to, to answer. Going back to you once again, uh, Sofia, could you tell us which are your favorite courses? Um, my favorite courses, I would say, are from the first year, it's um, business administration, mm -hmm. where we kind of had an overview each lesson. We had another subject, like we went into finance and accounting and HR. And right now, I would say it's basically accounting and finance. Mm -hmm. And why do you like them? Uh, what's uh, um, I'm really interested in, in the finance and accounting, so mm -hmm. I think that's why I really like it. Mm -hmm. And for business administration, it was just great to have like kind of an overview at the beginning of mm -hmm. all the subjects and whether we are really right in that subject, like to study business. So that was great. Do you already know in which field you would like to work in the future? I am quite open to that. Mm -hmm. I basically know the industry where I want to go, but um, for the exact field, I'm kind of open. I, like right now, I could basically imagine accounting and finance as the best thing, but um, I'm relatively open. Mm -hmm. uh, Vanessa, are the courses the same in the different campus or in the different countries? Or so they are almost the same. Uh, we, um, it's very important for us to ensure that actually uh, the students get the same knowledge and have the same opportunity in all the campuses. So they get the same courses. I mean, uh, they have to take the same courses. Uh, all the courses have the same syllabi, so they, they really get on the, on the same, you know, mm. they, they learn the same thing. Uh, the exams are the same. Um, now, within the courses, sometimes the, the, they might differ a little bit, which we do believe makes sense because uh, professors may have expertise more specific in one topic or another, or depending on the country, you may want to uh, focus on one case or another particular case uh, in class that makes more sense, you know, maybe in Berlin or in Paris or, and so on. So the, the, the content, the academic content, the knowledge are the same, the exams are the same, uh, and the style might be slightly different. So are there any differences between one campus and another? Uh, well, there are differences in the sense that Different countries? Different, different countries. Places, I'll yeah. say that's the main difference. Mm. The professors are different, of course, but at ESCP Europe Paris, we, are, we have many international professors, as they do in Madrid and in Torino. So it's not to say that all the professors in Paris are French and all the professors in London are British. It's not no, the case. Yeah. Now, the proportion might be bigger, but not, not so much. So I'll say the main difference is uh, you, you're evolving in an environment which is different. So maybe the administration works slightly differently uh, and then the old surrounding of, you know, living there. I mean, that what yep. I believe will be the main difference. Yep. Something r really important, uh, is it the b this bachelor recognized academically all around the world? Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, otherwise <laughs> that would not be a very good uh, outcome for our students. Um, it's a bachelor in three years. We are part of the system of Bologna within Europe. So this is, you know, straightforward. Mm -hmm. They get a bachelor three years and then they could apply for a master's degree. Uh, so that's uh, one first uh, way to go. Mm -hmm. We also have a visa français, so recognized by the French, uh, the French system. Um, um, now we also have partnerships with some universities, some universities, for example, in the US that will not know as much as in Europe about ESCP, mm -hmm. um, about ESCP Europe. So we actually build up partnerships with university in the US, uh, university in Asia. We have a specific partnership with uh, SMU, Singapore Management School, mm -hmm. with uh, University of Hong Kong, with University of Melbourne. Um, and then we also have specific partnership with university in the UK, for example, Imper Imperial College and uh, LBS, mm -hmm. London Business School. Not that our students will not be recognized otherwise, they are eligible anyway, uh, but just because then the schools know more about what they, they learn, what they do, and they have some kind of uh, uh, prior uh, knowledge of uh, what our students are and uh -huh. what they learn. Okay, let's move now to the second part of uh, this life, the application process. Uh, Vanessa, what are the different steps to apply to this bachelor? So first step is to go online, uh, I'll think, and um, I mean, yeah, I think that's the only way. I'm, I'm sure online yeah. it works. I <laughs> think maybe by mail you can do it as well, but uh, uh, you go online and apply. What is required from you uh, will be transcripts, 
usually we are talking about students that are uh, still in high school, so they won't have their, their transcript from the last month. And you know, if you talk about uh, French students or students that are in French school abroad, uh, they will not have passed yet the baccalaureate, but that's okay, you know, giving the transcript from, uh, from the year before and the first semesters. Uh, we also ask for a personal statement. That's quite important because we want to know the motivation of our students, who they are. Actually, that's a very important part. Uh, we, we look at the grades, of course, but who are the students and what they are, uh, if they have special patience or focus or, or, you know, this is interesting to us. And also we will ask them to uh, have a certain degree in English. Of course, the, the program is in English, so mm -hmm. they have to be able to follow. So we'll ask for TOEFL or IELTS uh, or Cambridge Advanced degree um, that they have to provide, but they don't have to provide it when they apply. They could provide it later on once they have been admitted and so on. So mm -hmm. that's uh, is there a that's personal a interview as well? Yeah, then there is a personal interview. So that's the first step. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some selection being made from, uh, from the, um, the application. And if uh, you, you, your application has been selected, then you will be called for an interview. Uh, the interview is about uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes uh, uh, discussion with a, a jury. There is two, two people usually uh, in the interview. Uh, it takes place uh, in one of the campuses or sometimes by Skype. So, okay. you know, for so, students so that are very far away, you don't, you don't, you don't need, need to, to be to in, in Paris, Paris or in London or in Madrid. Um, and, you know, the purpose of the interview, again, being that we test our students, but when we say test, the goal is not to make sure that they know everything about everything, because they are still young, young persons, but it's also to see uh, if they have interest, what is their motivation, uh, if they are mature enough to be part of our program, and also for them to ask questions and to see whether the fit, the fit will actually the so match. So that's will work. basically what you expect from the candidates, certain maturity, interest, um, good grades. And good grades, yeah. yeah. Good students. Good students. <laughs> 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 to make it clear. <laughs> How many students do you accept per year? Uh, we are a, a very new program. I mean, now it's four years, um, so it's still growing. Uh, the first cohorts were small, about 50 students. Last year we had uh, uh, almost, I mean, 380 or something like that. And we, we, are, we hope to reach a bit more this year. Um, yeah, so about 400, 500 students. Okay, and which diploma is required to, to apply for the You bachelor? have to have a, either French baccalaureate, baccalaureate or uh, some equivalent from the country you're from that will be recognized by the, the, the French system. So an equivalent to baccalaureate and of high school. That's good, yeah. Sophia, do you remember your application process? How was yes. it? Um, it, was, it was good. Like as Vanessa just said, I basically uh, did all the steps you just explained. So I first um, did the online application, then I had an interview, which was for me three people in around 30 minutes where they asked something a little bit um, about my motivation. So I, I think the motivation letter is really important. Mm -hmm. And afterwards we had some small tests for mathematics and I think some kind of reading comprehension for English. But yeah, the, it was actually quite good. And what I really liked is that we also got the answer within like one or two weeks. So that's really good. Uh, that was fast. Yeah. Okay. So th well, this question is for both of you. Uh, what kind of advice would you give to new candidates? I suspect we'll have the same answer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so I maybe I'll so start. Uh, be yourself. I think yeah. there is no other way than just being who you are. And you know, if you are indeed interested, motivated, and you have some curiosity, because of course, you know, if you have no curiosity in a in a in a program like this one, where we touch many different topics and where there is mm. many culture, many different people from all over the world, you will not get as much as you could from the program. So sure. if you are this type of person, just be yourself, and yeah. it's going to be. Do fun. Agree? Yes, I totally agree. <laughs> Would have said the same. Vanessa, do you expect any kind of previous uh, professional background from the candidates? We don't expect it because, again, our candidates are quite young. Yeah. Uh, so in Summer some jobs. countries, yeah, but that differs very much from country to country. Mm -hmm. In some countries, it's very natural to work and to have jobs experience, uh, even when you're 16 or 17. In some other countries, it's not uh, that you know uh, that often. Um, 
so of course, you know, if you have some job experience, it's good. You can share it with us, and we can uh, discuss it during the interview. And we'll, we'll, you know, that's a, that's a plus, of course. Mm. But if you don't, that doesn't make you not be able to join yeah. the program. Of course, you know, even if we talk about the French students, for example, usually French do not work that much. Uh, <laughs> but they have uh, they don't have so much internship. But now they have those um, uh, within um, within high school. They they get to be in 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 a company for a couple mm. of weeks that's also somehow a job experience that opens the eyes on what will be the, the professional life so yeah. and what about the personal statement you said before the cover letters what what do you want to read in these letters you know a personal letter is a way to to say who you are so as we said before you know the the, the, the best way to get admitted in the program is to actually uh, push you know you you qualities and explain who you are so that's what you should do in the in the in the statements so explain why you would like to go to a to do such a program like a BSc, a Bachelor in Management, why at ESCP and why are you different from others and why do you deserve yeah. it and why will it be good for you? So mm. that's I think okay. what to Okay. Well, let's go now for the third part of the, this life. Uh, How is personally for you, Sophia, as a student to, to be studying in a foreign country? Um, since I moved out at the age of 18, mm. it was at the beginning a little bit hard. Um, but like since I moved out at a young age, I really saw that I quickly have to adapt to the culture and that I have to kind of make friends. And it's, I think like this program, it's not only great because of the courses and everything, but it's also great because you really, you kind of step out of your comfort zone and you quickly see that you have to make friends or that you have to build up a second family yeah. because you're so far away from your family. So that was actually, it's a great experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the case. There is a big family here in yes, the Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Good. Well, Vanessa, do you think that for the, for the students, uh, it's, uh, it's something important in the future, uh, having this international experience? Well, I think it's definitely the case. Like yeah. many of our students and many many young people of today will ha will end up working in a, in a, in institutions where they will have to meet with people from all over the world. So if they have done it from the very start, they are very at ease with meeting those people and and understanding the difference in culture. And, and the difference in culture is business is something that matters, and we know that. And actually, we have a class like uh, in B2 in the year that uh, Sophia yeah. is in, which is called intercultural skills, mm -hmm. and it actually teaches you how how to deal with doing business and many other things, but how yeah. to deal with doing business with people from different cultures. So our students, they, know, they learn that from the very start. That makes a mm -hmm. big difference, I think. Sophia, I'm sure that you are working really hard, but do you still have some time to travel around the country? Yes. Um, like the courses are kind of like time consuming if you really want to, to go to great length and be really good. Mm. But still, like ESCB not only teaches us that you have to be good in the theory, but that you should also do some kind of extracurricular um, activities. Um, so yes, coming back to your question, yes, mm. we have some time to travel around. For example, um, I just visited kind of my best friend in Madrid, for example, for a weekend trip. And I also joined the rowing team. And we this weekend, we just came back from a rowing competition in Toulouse. So we also have some free time to travel a little bit or s um, see a little bit more of the country. So when you applied to um, ESCP Europe, how important was for you this extracurricular life? Before ESCP, to be honest, I basically um, concentrated on being good at school. So I didn't pay that much attention, apart from always doing sports, um, I didn't pay that much attention to extracurricular activities. But since I joined uh, ESCP, it completely changed because now I really see um, how much it brings you to be part of different, um, different clubs or different societies. Mm -hmm. Well, we've already seen different aspects of this bachelor, but why did you choose this one in particular and not other? I think the most important thing at the beginning was the three countries because I really wanted to kind of expand my horizon and wanted to see or experience different cultures. And I think for that ESCP is kind of a unique program because at, in that range, they are not, I think not at all, business schools that offer three countries mm -hmm. uh, within three years. So that was the main part at the beginning. Mm -hmm. How important do you think, Vanessa, is this factor 
for the students? No, I think it is. And when we actually interview the students, there are two main elements that come out. The first one is this one, like three, three years, three countries. And I completely agree. I mean, other program will offer some exchange program with students going for a semester or sometime a year. But we are very specific in yeah. having yeah. those very like three years, three, three different campuses, three different countries. Mm -hmm. And the other element is that comes out from our students is the, the mix of management and liberal arts courses. Because yeah. for many students, uh, jumping into business with only business courses might be a little bit too restrictive yes. while here they see that they still have the opportunity to follow up the studies in in law or maybe in uh, in uh, actually we have students that actually now are in masters in political science you know so that there are many other possibilities and i think that's also a big uh, advantage okay let's go now for the last part of uh, this life the work part Vanessa, does a student have some mandatory internship uh, during yeah, this so bachelor? Yeah, so I'm happy you're asking the question <laughs> because I thought, you know, I really want to, to, to tell people about <laughs> yeah. this part of the program as it's well, important. which is that there is, yeah, it's important. It's also a, pro a program that gets you into business right away in the sense that, uh, well, first, within the courses, you have lots of uh, real life ex examples and things like this. But then also you will be, uh, you'll have uh, several opportunities to get in real life and real businesses. There are internships. So there are mandatory internships in uh, year two and year three. So you're supposed to do altogether 24 weeks uh, of internship. Um, so there are internships, but there are also what we call collective projects. Uh, there are collective projects in the first year and the second year. In the first year, students are supposed to, uh, to build up some project by group. There's lots of group work, mm -hmm. so that's by group. And this project, uh, I'm mentioning it in a, you know, you're, you're talking about internship, but I'm mentioning it now because it's kind of a mm -hmm. startup story because you have to build up, you know, kind of entrepreneurship. Sure. You have to build up your own project that could go from uh, building a site for raising funds for some gender inequality issues to uh, uh, creating an event art event in at school or you know it could be anything like this uh, and in the second year our students at least on the Paris campus so other campus might differ a little bit but all students have what we call the collective project year two and there they are matched by group again with a startup in Paris the startup is called school lab so school lab is an incubator, and they match the startups with our students and for several months they are in connection and our students help the startup you know developing and and again so they put their fit like directly into uh, into work mm -hmm. so, um, yeah. But I guess it's, it's possible to continue studying about uh, after this bachelor. Yeah, definitely. I mean, two, two, two ways when, you, when you're finished. Uh, either you, you go work directly or indeed continuing studying with, uh, with a master degree somewhere. Mm -hmm. And actually, it was a, our first cohort uh, graduated uh, this year, so we have the first uh, outcomes. And we were expecting most of our students to go for further studies. Mm -hmm. And actually, we were quite surprised because it's only maybe a third. And two thirds of the students decided to first go for work, okay. work several years, and maybe Come continue back. afterwards, which is more like the Anglo-Saxon way to uh, mm -hmm. apprehend uh, education. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and it works pretty. And w what are the links between ESCP and the real business world? Uh, what what do you mean between the, uh, yeah, yeah once you're done with the bachelor uh, there is a, li a direct link with the business world where you can continue working or, or, or where you can start working actually well there is in the sense that first like the students they had those internships so sometimes you know they were at ESCP they have their internship and, and actually it did happen that the students continue by finding a job uh, long-term jobs in the company they had the internship mm -hmm. with um, so that's one link. The other link is actually some of the students that actually started their own company, although being very young, but because they started to build up the ideas mm -hmm. while being at school and they continued, uh, um, you know, following up what they were doing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. So one more question, Vanessa. Let's say that I'm from Korea or Lebanon. Uh, will I have to do something in particular during the application process? Uh, no, I don't think we make difference depending on where you're from. We actually have uh, already quite some students from Lebanon and uh -huh. fewer from uh, South Korea, but uh, some. Um, and I think the process is the same. Uh, we are welcoming people from all over the world. Actually, that's definitely our, one of our big advantage, a big plus to have people from all over the world. Um, so no, I think, you know, any students will go through the application process and mm -hmm. explain and yeah. Okay. Um, you said before that most of the students continue uh, studying afterwards, mm -hmm. but what about if I want to study anymore, I want to continue after the there is a three years uh, bachelor. What kind of job can I get? 
Okay, most of them actually choose jobs and few of them uh, studying. When they choose jobs, um, we have uh, studi uh, students that actually got uh, jobs at, for example, Accenture or in Dublin or Amazon in Berlin or Deloitte. So what kind of job? It will be sometimes related to sales managers, uh, that's some of them. Some others will work on more financial consulting or financial analysts. Uh, some of them are uh, on specific project, development of project and, and things like this. So that's for the people that actually went for jobs and for the people that went for masters. Uh, so again, maybe a third of the last promotion. Um, we have students that, that got a master degree at Columbia University in, uh, in New York City uh, in sport and management. And we have students at uh, LSE, London School of Economics, uh, one in finance, another one in a master of uh, political science. We have students at Bocconi. Uh, in, uh, in Italy. Uh, we have some students that actually decided to continue their study at ESCP, okay. so not in the, in the management master because they already have a bunch of uh, knowledge from management from the bachelor degree, but in special ad specialized masters. So we have three of them. One of them chooses uh, ch choose big data, um, specialized master in big data. Another one chooses um, uh, marketing and sale, and another one marketing and digital uh, something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so pretty good uh, outcomes. So another student in Cambridge in an MPhil. So MPhil is a preparation for a PhD. So you know, uh, all the paths were quite okay. uh, quite successful. So the, through this uh, Facebook Live, uh, we have a question from Benjamin. He wants to make sure uh, if after this uh, Bachelor of, uh, in Management uh, you can join prestigious universities for uh, an MBA. Mm. Alors MBA not directly after a bachelor degree because uh, usually MBAs is something that you do after having some years of uh, experience in the firm. So what the students um, will do usually is like having a BA and then work like uh, maybe three, four, five years and then they will apply for MBA. Uh, we don't have the experience of that yet uh -huh. because uh, our students are too young. Maybe in the future. Uh, maybe in the future. I'm pretty sure according to what we see in uh, the results in terms of application and success of the master degree that the students that uh, obtain, uh, I'm pretty sure that they will have no difficulties to get into a master uh, MBA okay. uh, in a few years. Okay, well, we are almost uh, at the end of this live. It goes quicker. <laughs> <laughs> but I still have three more questions. Uh, Sophia, uh, why would you recommend this uh, bachelor to a friend? Um, because it's just a really unique program. So, as like to sum it up, um, it's not just the courses which are like the courses are not only like management related like finance uh, business everything mm -hmm. but it's also like the human humanities as you said which is really important for being uh, for being in the business um, environment so this is the first part like the studies which are really great and the second part is as i said like you because you get to know like different cultures you get to know like different languages um, maybe also different curiosities relating to different cultures and you step out of the comfort zone and get to know like different people and building up a second family mm -hmm. and different contexts. And Vanessa, why do you think this is so important to, to do this uh, bachelor in management? What does it bring to the student? Uh, well, you know, I think I, I might rephrase <laughs> what Sophia, <laughs> Sophia said, but uh, yes, I think, you know, we I think we have a very strong academic content. I mean, what they get in the, yeah. in the courses, our, our professors are good. They are the same professors as the one that teach in uh, executive MBAs at ESCB or, or master degrees. So, so, you know, they have experience in teaching uh, students uh, and the content uh, are quite, uh, I think, important. Um, so that's one part. The multicultural aspect of it is very important, the languages uh, and so on. Uh, and as I said at the beginning, I think one important element that it give the students and that can show you know uh, that can be shown like after under cv and everywhere is the ability to to move around and and adapt to new culture and new environment and i think that's very strong uh -huh. uh, in the profile and something very important for some people as well uh, are there any scholarships available so there are uh, scholarships there is a committee so if you apply to scp and after being admitted you can apply for a scholarship 
Uh, there is a committee that actually uh, look over all the applications and it depends, uh, it will be uh, dependent on merits. So you need to show that you are a good student, that you will be working hard during uh, the whole process and of course on the financial needs of uh, the families and the parents. So, so scholarship could be of 25% of the tuition, 50% of the tuition. Okay, well, thank you very much uh, to both for being with us today. Uh, Vanessa Stroskan, Academic Director for Bachelor Paris Campus, and uh, Sofia Rosenhofer, second year student of his Bachelor in Management. And of course, thank you for watching. And remember, if you have any questions, don't hesitate in getting in touch uh, with ESCP Europe. Uh, they'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, the website ESCPEurope.com. Uh, where you'll be able to find a preview application form as well. So thank you for being with us today and see you soon for another live. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.